Hey guys, welcome back to another food diary. It's day four in Portugal, our last day here. Uh, we're gonna go eat some breakfast and then we're gonna head out and check out Lisbon and then see if we can find some good food out there. So I'm basically having the same breakfast as yesterday. Pineapple, nectarine and mango and yogurt. So I'm having a slice of bread with mushrooms, egg and bacon. So we just got off at Belem and we are going to Pastis de Belem now, trying to find it, although we're a little bit lost, but we'll get there in the end. Bellum or Portuguese egg custard tart and I'm excited. You can tell that this place is good because look how busy it is and there's a queue going outside as well. So that is the bottom part. You can see how they push it into the case and then the layers form around. Um, and that's where you get the flakiness from the pastry. Cinnamon adds a really nice flavour to it as well. I really like these. I think these are not as sweet as the ones we had the other day, so I could eat more of them. Okay, so I just ate two of them really quickly, but it was delicious. I would say this one is slightly better than the one we had the other day, just because it's not as sweet, and the pastry is just crazy flaky. I would say 
I like the egg custard tarts that we had the other day in Mantegara because this one was a little bit too eggy. It was still nice, but the other one I liked better. So this is where the magic happens. We just took out loads of trays. We worked out there's 60 in each plate and there's 11 trays there. So if my maths is any good, I've worked that out as 660 egg tarts right there. So we've just come out of Pastis di Bellum. I feel pretty sick because I ate about three of the egg tarts along with half a donut as well and coffee. So I think I just need to walk it off now. Yeah, I feel a bit sick, but it was good, but too much sweet. I had about half a donut and then two uh, egg custard tarts. So um, yeah, I'm gonna try and walk off all this uh, food we've eaten now. So we're back in Lisbon and we're gonna take the tram and we're gonna do a bit more sightseeing on our last day here. But first we've got to tackle the hill. So we're just in a salt cod fritter shop and literally what they sell is salt cod fritters and the lady is making them fresh. So I have got the cream of tomato soup with some basil on it. Creamy, I thought it would be tangier actually. So I've got the grilled pork with clams, tomatoes and potatoes underneath. This smells really good, so I'm going to try the pork first. That has got really good flavour. The pork is tender. The flavour is kind of like sweet and a bit sour as well. I don't know what it is, but it's pretty good. So we've got some fried potatoes with garlic underneath. Mm. It's in a really nice garlicky sauce. And then I'm going to try the clam friendly. Mm. 
That sauce is good. last night in Portugal and it was such a good way to end our holiday it was really good food probably one of my favorite dinners out of the whole holiday so thank you once again for watching guys if you like the vid please thumbs up and subscribe and we will see you on the next one bye, bye.